Hey, it's your local fish keeper, Sabrina. Celestial pearl danios, or the galaxy Erisbora, are one of the most popular nanofish found in the hobby. So let's take a closer look. The scientific name for celestial pearl danios, or galaxy Erisbora, is Danio margaritatis. They have a deep blue body with white spots on top, which gives them the galaxy look. Their fins are orange reddish in color. The adult males have more vibrant coloration with a slender body, while the adult females are much more plump with less vibrant coloration. They can grow up to an inch or 2.5 centimeters. Galaxy Rasporas were first discovered in the year 2006 near the Selvin Basin in Myanmar. Their beautiful colors have taken the market by storm. Due to this, their numbers in the wild started to dwindle rapidly. However, in 2008, thanks to the efforts of breeders, they were able to breed them in captivity and thus stabilizing the numbers of galaxy rasporas in the wild. Their lifespan is estimated to be about 3 to 5 years. Temperament-wise, they are very shy and peaceful. It is important to note that they thrive in a group. Therefore, it is advisable to keep them in a school of at least 6. As for water parameters, Keep them at a temperature of 73 to 79 degrees Fahrenheit or 23 to 26 degrees Celsius, hardness of 2 to 10, and a pH level of 6.5 to 7.5. You can keep them in a group of 6 in a 10-gallon tank. In the wild, the freshwater ponds they are found in have relatively low water movements with high levels of light. The light breeds plenty of vegetation and algae for them to both hide and feed off. They best survive when surrounded by high levels of hardship vegetation and other areas to hide, such as rocks and driftwood. Due to their love for plants, galaxy rasboras are commonly placed in an aquascape or planted aquarium. The more plants and heights you have, the more likely for them to come out of hiding. Be creative with their tank and, most importantly, have fun. Celestial pearl danios are omnivores. Since they are very small in size, it is important to feed them food that can fit into your mouth. Mine really enjoys daphnias and baby brine shrimps. Besides that, you can also feed them tiny pellets or flakes and algae. If you like to add tank meats into the aquarium, Galaxy Rasporas are best kept in a peaceful community setup. Peaceful fish such as Odocinclus, Corydoras, and Peaceful Tetras are great options. As for invertebrates, snails work well. Small sized shrimps tend to get eaten, but larger sized shrimps like the Amano or Yamato shrimp seems to do fine. Avoid fish that are bigger than them that could eat them. Lance is a special case, he's been a sweetheart since day one. However, with my other brother, Caspian, he's much more aggressive and he's known to eat smaller sized fish, so make sure to get to know your fish first. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to see more content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video. Do comment down below as I love hearing from every single one of you. Have a lovely day and see you next time!